Hello, I'm here in the second day and I'm going to work but actually my wife got sick and we have a plan to go to a clinic to see a doctor so I believe this video is gonna be about that this sort of stuff I want to explain how health system works in Finland and what benefits you have in this system, private system, public system, and also the insurances. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in these sort of things, keep watching the video. Also, I try to show the, uh, you know, the part of the city, the, the clinic we're going to go, and all sorts of things. See you. It's perfect, free coffee machine. You can have as much as coffee you want. And it's, it's not only coffee, but also cacao and tea. Perfect, couldn't be better. So here's the prescription of the doctor and I'm waiting for the medicine here as soon as I'm out of here I will explain everything to you regarding you know getting a medicine insurances uh, healthcare everything just keep watching that's automatic and it's really amazing that's for the first time you see this okay now uh, let me explain to you how everything works here first of all let me explain how my wife got her appointment for you know the general uh, practitioner general doctor uh, actually she has a health insurance and we bought it for her uh, from public sector and the insurance, the health insurance was around 400 euros, I believe, less than 400 euros, but it depends on your situation and the, and your health records. But for the first time it was around like this and probably in a few months I need to extend it because it was just for only one year. Uh, and the price, uh, now that I think about it, uh, is really fair in comparison to the expenses we had for the last year and the, the appointments we had if we wanted to actually uh, pay ourselves for those kind of uh, you know visits uh, for doctors it could have been more than this so a lot more actually uh, I'll explain in just a moment but basically the expensive part is the examinations the testing the tests and all the examinations the lab tests and everything related to this stuff is really expensive the appointment with the doctor itself is not really expensive that much but well it depends it, for the general practitioner it doesn't uh, make much a difference actually but well the good point is that uh, uh, the, in, the health insurance covers everything every incident health incident and problem you have uh, 
except the dental cares actually and the health insurance if you have a health insurance here uh, actually the point is that it only covers the accidental and the incidents uh, accidental problems I mean uh, they don't cover if you have a problem for a long time because they look at your records and they see that you um, already have this problem so they don't cover it but if suddenly something happens to you uh, suddenly you get sick uh, they cover this and that's fine except dental cares if suddenly something emergency uh, happen to your th teeth uh, well you need to go to either uh, private sector or public sector the insurance doesn't uh, cover that uh, so that's the first part so now my wife with the health insurance she has uh, to get an appointment she just needs to actually use the application if you have insurance you uh, need to use it's called advisor something like that the application you just communicate with the operator over there and you just explain you need to explain what symptoms you have what problem you have and then they uh, give you an appointment with a doctor at the earliest time possible and this is how it works and they and then you don't have to pay any bill at the counter they just uh, send the bill directly to the insurance company and then ins the insurance company actually uh, uh, checks that uh, appointment and see if it's necessary for you to pay to to pay some of those bills. Uh, maybe they check your records. They see, they check if you know if you have a problem for a long period of time. They say that okay, it, this was before even you get the insurance. You need to pay it yourself. But if it's a normal situation, they just pay the bills and you don't have to pay anything. Uh, there is another way to uh, make the insurance company pay instead of you, on behalf of you, is that you first go to a doctor, you get, a, get an appointment in private sector, and then after you uh, pay the bills you just scan the bills and then send it to insurance company and then they uh, give the money back to you uh, so that's how it works basically uh, just one thing uh, is that if you have a job here mm, uh, there is a chance that they already actually uh, gave you a, an insurance occupational insurance so you don't have to buy a private uh, insurance but even if you want to buy a private uh, a, a, a health insurance pro from private sector uh, I think it it worth it it is worth it actually and it's good to have one in comparison to the exp uh, expenses you're gonna have and I believe it's uh, better even for women because women uh, need more doctor I believe in comparison to men so basically here we have public sector and private sector and because we have a public sector here and the prices is really you know good here and you can easily get an appointment with a doctor in public sector if even uh, especially if it's uh, an emergency uh, situation uh, the, the, the price of the uh, public sector private sector and the insurances are really uh, good and low in comparison I think to uh, countries like Canada or USA and for the public sector is really easy you just need to call some numbers and then give you 
uh, an appointment depends on your situation if it's an emergency they just right away give you uh, an appointment with a doctor in a couple of hours or even or maybe in a few days but if it's not too urgent it could take you know months to give you an appointment it depends on your situation but it's good that they have the public uh, sector for health uh, problems and also there is a private sector obviously you can get a, an appointment whenever you want the prices are a bit higher of course I'm not quite sure but I think uh, the public sector if you want to go there uh, it's uh, uh, 30 to 50 percent cheaper uh, so yeah for, for instance if you want to go to a general practitioner in pub in private sector it's gonna cost about uh, 80 to 100 euros for 10 to 15 uh, minutes uh, but for the public sector I think it's around maybe 40 or 50 or even less uh, now let me talk about a little bit about dental cares because it's completely different from all of this so as I told you uh, the insurances uh, don't cover the expenses for dental care I'm not sure why but maybe uh, it's too expensive for them to cover I'm uh, not sure but uh, anyway public sector is really good in for de dental cares actually uh, here public sector you can uh, you can get an appointment in a few days if you have an emergency situation but if it's not emergency that much in a few weeks or months probably you can have an appointment with really good prices I believe for instance I haven't uh, had an issue with my uh, uh, tooth uh, I, I needed a feeling actually so uh, it took me only a, a couple of days to get an appointment and then uh, the cost was around I think 50 or 7 euros 50 euros I think for filling my uh, tooth I think it's around it's gonna cost around 100 euros for public private sector actually it's a little bit hot here the Sun is right over there and it's really hot so I'm thinking if I missed anything well generally it's like this so uh, in general I think the health system is really good here also something else about the medicine and drugs and uh, this sort of stuff uh, you they give you a color card it's called color color card and well basically with that in some cases you can uh, get a discount uh, at the counter but in general uh, uh, if, if the doctor prescribes you some drugs it's completely uh, or under the insurance but if you don't have any insurance and you just want to buy directly from a drugstore uh, well that's uh, the normal rate uh, whatever it is and but yeah if you have an insurance and the doctor you know prescribe you anything all of them are under the insurance otherwise you need to pay yourself and uh, yeah that's pretty much like this
So I'm out of the office and it's already weekend. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the weekend, but uh, regarding this, or this um, health insurance things and the healthcare system, I think I told you pretty much everything, the most important parts, but please ask me anything else that you want me to tell you about. Now I'm about to go to uh, the supermarket, probably uh, the, the, the shopping center is called Sokos. It's here in the city center of Tampere and I'm going to buy some grocery, grocery actually. And maybe I take some videos from there as well. So let's go, I just wanna show you around. It's not any more related to these uh, health things. Okay, so if you're interested, keep watching the video. And yeah. Here it is, Sokos, a shopping center, including a super big super. I'm not gonna go into the details of the prices for all the products. But instead, I just want to show you a couple of things, things I'm gonna buy probably. So I want to buy some mushrooms and usually what I do is this. You can have as much as you want or you can go with these sort of packages. But if I want to be really careful about what I'm gonna buy, I take a look at the uh, price in where is it well it's in Finnish and it's still difficult for me to find what I want so look at this it's about five euros per kilogram five euros per kilogram and not sure but I think uh, this is this one is 15 euros per kilogram look at this and this one 30 so I'm gonna go with this one so number was uh, 164 mm, this one here and it used to be bigger than this but i think they're doing their renovation renovation actually they want to make it bigger but so far that's enough for me to find what i want so if you're wondering how I actually buy my products and actually because it all mostly are in Finnish and I can't read Finnish so basically I use Google Lens that's easy just you know grab the phone and translate everything I want by Google Lens and that is how I find what I want at the moment I'm I have a trouble finding a uh, kind of cheese, parmesan, I think it's called. Yeah, 